so i believe you have already remember that deloitte have started their registration process so regarding the registration process we have already make one video and after completing the registration process in our college deloitte has already conducted their round one basically the technical round so in our technical round what are the questions they have asked and what and how we can prepare so that we can so here you can find we have already uploaded multiple videos for mnc like here you can find the deloitte registration process capgemini tcso and how we can make the resume what are the questions they have asked in capgemini cognizia delta mind so multiple types of video we have already uploaded in our channel so you definitely you can visit our channel or also you can find there are uh, this is our website so under uh, placement you can find the placement 20 c26 is already available so whatever the company are visiting in our colleges uh, so like eltem entry ibm capgemini sap lab deloitte so each and every details we have already updating over here so definitely you can visit our website as well so uh, today we will mainly focus on uh, focus in the technical round so here you can find there are multiple questions prerequisitions what are the questions they have asked and in the round one so each and everything we will discuss so just be so be with us and definitely we will discuss and okay so we have already attached some screenshot like what are the questions they have asked so if you maybe it's very difficult for you to read what are the actual questions but in our whatsapp group or the telegram channel or even in our what uh, website so definitely in a pdf format we will upload the entire questions actual questions what they have asked now for the round one if i give a entire summary of round one in a tabular format so you can find there are multiple type of sections are available the section one is basically verbal ability so verbal ability means basically it will check your grammatical knowledge so there should be some fill in the blank questions we have to mention the appropriate prepositions or maybe the grammatical knowledge like there should be some sentence what will be the appropriate verb so you have to fill so this type of questions will be there and the total question is 13 and the time limit is basically 13 minutes so each and every questions uh, have contain only 1 minute so you have to quickly check what is what which one is basically the easy questions which one is basically the tough questions so you have to just attempt the easy one first then come back to the tough medium to tough questions then again if i come back to the next uh, uh, section that is the reason, uh, reasoning so again there should be some uh, questions like a uh, few alphabets are there and there should be some questions mark so you have to make the relationship and we have to understand what should be the appropriate word or the letter for this particular questions mark so i believe you know what does it mean by the reasoning ability so this type of questions will be there so total number of question is 12 the total time is basically 12 minute again for the quantity part so normally mathematical aptitude will be there so you have to answer and that their total number of total question is basically 10 and the total time is basically 10 minutes so again under the technical part this is the very very important portions so under technical part there are total five sections five or six sections so each section contain some different different questions the if i take a simple example for the section one there should be some questions from cloud so let's assume for that cloud part there should be some five questions then there is another section like for uh, networking so there should be some list about two to three questions then there should be another section like uh, ms office so under ms office they should be asked uh, multiple type of questions from excel like how we can print or the, what are the layout of the print statement how we can add header or footer so this type of questions they definitely ask uh, under ms office so there are different types of section is also available the total number of section is 5 or 6 so the total question is basically 13 and the last section was basically the pseudo code so there are again Uh, so the last sub section of technical round is basically pseudo code so again there are few pseudo codes is also available so you have to solve it within a one minute so i believe you know how we can identify what are the line of, line is basically redundant it's which is not required to calculate the output of the pseudo code okay so these are all the things that i am just discussing is under technical part so all the things now if i jump to the coding part there are only two questions are there the level of the question is basically you can say easy medium not too easy not too tough okay so but if you uh, properly practice so maybe there would be one easy questions and one medium medium level questions okay so definitely we have to discuss in the next slide as well so the total question is basically 2 and the number is basically 25 the process now come back to the next part like the important information this is a very very good point like deloitte is normally paper one platform the platform name is basically higher pro and the entire program is basically uh, round one is scheduled for 19 minutes 
and the timer is already uh, main sense whenever you successfully log into the screen uh, the screen is available with a timer so you can check it and each and every as i mentioned each and every section has a different different timer like 13 minutes to 12 minutes so you have to maintain it and the programming language so for the coding purpose uh, there are famous programming language like we all know like c c plus plus java python so there are multiple programming is also available so there is no such limitations in terms of programming language and you can uh, swap in between the two questions like the two questions are available so you can complete the first question then come back to the next question so if you remember now first question is quite difficult so you can directly jump to the two uh, question number two solve it then again you can come back to the question number one and let's assume you are writing the code and some somehow the time is already uh, ended so whatever how many lines you have written that particular code will be auto submitted and based on that your evaluation will be done now this is as it is a air powered portal so definitely the camera access microphone access and the screen record so you have to share the screen so whatever the programming is you are writing or whatever the questions you are selecting it will be checked by your camera also so make sure your face will be in in particular camera zone and whatever the communications you are doing with your friends or anything else so that particular communication uh, sound also be checked so make sure there should be any background knowledge and definitely you have to share the screen so don't think that you are uh, doing some cheating during the assessment so don't try to cheat during your assessment so be loyal and one there is one important point so before start the assessment deloitte will share one link where you have where you have to check your system so before start the final assessment make sure you check your system that it is properly working or not okay then we have added one note so let's assume you are doing your uh, giving your assessment and in some issue are happening with you like your internet is not working properly or your electricity is basically uh, cut or your laptop is somehow somehow shut down so don't panic your exam will be submitted and after few minutes your exam will be resume so you have to after 5 minutes or 4 minutes you have to log in so whatever the portions we have done the answer will be saved and you can continue okay and now come back to the questions part like here you can find we have mentioned there is one question this is the questions they have asked in uh, coming month like if you notice the okay so that date is already mentioned so 9th november 2025 the exact same question is already asked okay and so this is the questions they have asked so if in a simple way if you can find there are two different type of sim special character is also available so you have to just count the how many times has is repeated how many times plus sign is repeated so this is the easy or simple questions and there is an another questions we have, we have to understand like there is a some uh, uh, ticket counter so there are some pattern like two number you have to uh, get like n is basically the number of people uh, making a queue or k is basically the last digit so if i directly jump to the uh, simple input so the number is basically 5 that means total 5 percent are standing in a queue and the last now ticket number will be basically 3 so if you add all the prime number which end with 3 so you have to add all the 5 Uh, prime number like 3 plus 13 plus 20 so this this is the simple input and you have to just add it so this is a simple problem and again there is another simple input like 7 is basically the number of people are standing in a queue and the last digit number is basically 1 so uh, next uh, input sample input that is 7 1 that means total 7 person are in a queue and the last digit number is 1 so our first um, prime number should be uh, it is it is starting from a first prime number so one definitely not a prime number so first prime number will be basically 11 plus second prime number is 21 definitely no 20 number is not a prime number so second prime number is basically 31 then third prime number is 41 so similarly you have to add total seven prime number and the total addition will be basically 197 so this is the another question so you have to write down in in your Preferred programming language, maybe C, C plus plus or Java. This is the question we have already discussed. Now there is the another coding questions. Like you, so if I directly come back to the sample input part, so this is the uh, word you have. So but you have to give a some space after two character like my then space then pair. If the last digit number is not in pair, so definitely you have to print the last number. So this is the uh, last uh, character. So this is the simple uh, program. So you have to write down. the exact same question is asked in basically 8 november 
now if you clear the first round that is the coding round then your name will be basically published uh, within uh, two weeks i believe so then you have to appear for the technical round as well as the hr round now if i come back to the details discussions about the technical interview say so again it is basically in online mode so from your home independently you can attempt it and approached time for technical interview is 30 to 40 minutes it bits on the students as well as the interviewer and both the round will be conducted in at a time like hr plus technical and maybe you, the interview will ask you to write down the code so in a pen and paper you have to write down the code or through the, their platform that is the higher pro so you have to also write down the code so don't expect that without writing the code you will clear the coding round if the interviewer asks definitely you have to write down the code or you have to just simply write down the logic and then there are multiple questions they have asked uh, from your resume like what type of technology we have added what type of certifications we have done or if you mention some good projects definitely they will ask the multiple questions from your project so uh, be careful and make sure you go through your uh, resume properly so that you uh, so that you can answer each and every questions they have asked from your resume as well now there are some suggestions for the technical interview so these are the topic they have only mostly asked like from they have asked different questions from dbms operating system and the dna uh, dsa part uh, some puzzle questions also so again uh, they will ask the multiple questions from your resume as well as well so apart from that so they will start some discussion general discussions like the current trend like chat gpt is is good for or for, or not for a student should we use it in our organizations or not or you have to give some uh, example like how we can develop the some software what are the software life cycle is available so these type of discussions can be there so you have to be confident enough so that the discussions will be fruitful for you so we have also added some note like uh, uh, study perfectly about the job profile so what are the job profile they have mentioned uh, during uh, mentioned in their mail so you have to go through it so that they will they will know that the student is basically serious enough and your attitude is very very important during your uh, technical or the hr interview so make sure you will be confident enough and confident is basically the key and so try to use good vocabulary so there are a few things we have already mentioned and make sure if you do not answer in any questions so don't uh, feel too much stress so be calm and take some time and you have to strictly handle the uh, questions as well so these are the thing we have to keep in your mind and regarding that hr interview there are some basic questions they normally ask so so that part we have already added like tell me about yourselves why you choose deloitte as your career and definitely your strength or weakness so i believe you already know but there are something some questions you and they commonly ask like uh, do you have any potential to learn the new technology or any plan for higher study there is no problem with relocations or shifting so if this type of questions is asked definitely you have to say no, definitely i don't have any plan as of now for higher study or there is no issue regarding relocations or shifting so this type of answer you have to uh, give right so this is the entire hr round and after that they will again publish the list that who are the students who will eligible for the uh, their internship program as well so that's it from from our side i believe i have clear all the points now if you have any doubt or any questions so definitely you can um, uh, ping me through our top mate or we can join our whatsapp group or the telegram channel so we are ready to help you that's it from my side and tata bye bye thank you